Hi, today we're gonna take a look at how to subtract mixed numbers with unlike denominators. Let's start with a quick review. A mixed number, like this one, is the sum of a whole number and a proper fraction. Also, a proper fraction is a fraction where the numerator, the top number, is less than the denominator, the bottom number. Two-thirds is a proper fraction, given that the numerator, two, is less than the denominator, three. Nice! Are you ready for the first example? In this example, we need to subtract 8 and 2 thirds minus 6 and 1 half. These mixed numbers have different denominators. To find the difference, we we'll start by subtracting the whole numbers. In this case, the whole numbers are 8 and 6. Come over here, we put 8 minus 6. And 8 minus 6 gives us 2. Next, we can put 2 in the answer. We have the difference of the whole numbers. It's time to subtract the fractions. The fractions are 2 thirds and 1 half. In the same order, we put 2 thirds minus 1 half. These two fractions have different denominators. We have 3 on the left and 2 on the right. And there are several methods to subtract fractions with unlike denominators. However, I love to use the cross multiplication method or the butterfly. In this method, we'll start by multiplying the denominators. And 3 times 2 give us 6. Then we cross multiply. On this side, we have 2 times 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. We continue with the minus sign. On the other side, we have 3 times 1, and 3 times 1 give us 3. Never change the order. We'll start with 2 times 2, 2 times 2 is 4, then we put the minus sign, and we continue with 3 times 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Pay attention over here. 4 minus 3 is 1, and then the denominator stays the same. 6 come over here. The difference of the fractions is 1 sixth. Finally, we add the difference of the fractions to the difference of the whole numbers. So we put 1 sixth next to the number 2. Therefore, 8 and 2 thirds minus 6 and 1 half give us 2 and 1 sixth. Let's move on to another example. In this example, we're going to subtract 7 and 3 fourths minus 3 and 1 half. These mixed numbers have different denominators. To find the difference, we just need to follow the same steps. We'll start by subtracting the whole numbers. 7 and 3. Come over here, 7 minus 3 give us 4. Next, we can put 4 in the answer. We have the difference of the whole numbers. It's time to subtract the fractions. The fractions are 3 fourths and 1 half. In the same order, we put 3 fourths minus 1 half. These fractions have different denominators. We have 4 on the left and 2 on the right. To find the difference, we can use the butterfly method one more time. In this method, we'll start by multiplying the denominators and 4 times 2 give us 8. Then we cross multiply. On this side, we have 3 times 2 and 3 times 2 is 6. Then we put the minus sign. On the other side, we have 4 times 1 and 4 times 1 is 4. Now 6 minus 4 give us 2 and then we keep the denominator the same. 8 come over here. Pay attention because 2 eighths is a fraction that we can simplify. So we're going to simplify this fraction dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number, by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 8 divided by 2 gives us 4. 1 fourth is a fraction in its simplest form, and we cannot simplify it anymore. Finally, we add the difference of the fractions to the difference of the whole numbers. So we put 1 fourth next to 4. Therefore, 7 and 3 fourths minus 3 and 1 half give us 4 and 1 fourth. That's all for today. If you want to learn more about mixed numbers, check out this playlist. Have a good one and see you next lesson. Bye!